built the ammo. Like something together. <laughs> now that's beautiful. <laughs> this is the garage. <laughs> when you run out of trees, you gotta use what you got, right? <laughs> <laughs> Come here, kitties! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! I'm thinking more like a thousand. You came in here, you only want to summer. The dad is passing out the presents. Oh, the oh, Mom and Dad! It's a new car! Whee! Morning, you guys I have a ton of updates for you first one we got a new couch so it's actually a really funny story we were looking at this couch on Black Friday and I was like I love the color it's a sectional I don't know if you guys can really see the whole thing we have it set up right now so that there's like a big bed at the end and then it's just like a cute little sectional the second update is that it is literally seven degrees we have not experienced a true winter like this in a couple of years longer for al than for me the last update is the most exciting one our stuff is coming today like officially finally coming today. I have to be home today from eight to five to receive our stuff. And I've been like cleaning all morning. I know I definitely don't have to clean because they're just gonna be coming in and out of our house, but I would rather just have a clean base to start with, if that makes sense. Oh, and one more really exciting update that I have to share with you guys is that we booked a really exciting trip for February. And I am so excited it's not like very far we're driving it's not a far drive but what we're doing is so cool so stay tuned for that fun travel video but this morning i'm just hanging out with my animals kind of waiting for the truck to get here i'm getting really excited for it we've been without our stuff since september 23rd is when they came and packed everything up if you guys want to watch the video of the process of them coming to pack it up i'll leave it in the icard it just seems like it was so long ago and it was so long ago it's been like three months since we've had all of our stuff i've been living out of boxes i packed like clothes and shoes a couple of things i don't have all my clothes in my kitchen i am so excited to get my kitchen stuff we've just been cooking like the most basic boring meals because we only have a pot and a pan and like one spatula one single buck knife that we've been using for everything so yeah needless to say i'm ready for our stuff so now we just sit here and we wait the kitties are not going to be happy with me but it's a melatonin treat day they have to go in their crates because there's really no good room to keep them in the movers are going to be in every room putting our boxes and assembling everything and all that so Sorry kitties, you gotta go in your crates. I was a brand new cat owner. I was like terrified to shove them in there. And now I'm just like, sorry guys. Here, you want a treat? Go, cool. get it. One down. They have their little names on their crates. There's Marzi. Yes. Oh. You okay? Mommy, sorry. Come here. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. They are not happy with me. You'll be okay. Just for a little bit, you guys. The vet put their little names on here when they got neutered. And I just had to leave them on because it's very cute to me. They're warming up. I put some food in there for them. They'll be all right. With it being so cold, I would literally cry if they got out because with them being in a new area, I would worry that they would freeze to death. 
My little Carolina strays. My third little Carolina stray. Have to see what's going on. By the way, these are the melatonin treats that I give them whenever we have to like travel with them or anything. It is really great. I drove these two little cats 18 hours in a car from North Carolina to Wisconsin and these treats helped keep them calm. They literally cried for a little bit and then you can tell it kicked in and they just zonked and slept the whole way. Not a sponsorship, you guys know I don't really do that anymore, but I just wanted to share if there's any cat owners who are struggling to find a good melatonin treat, that one works for my boys personally. But now the waiting continues, guys. Update, it is now noon and our stuff is not here yet. <laughs> I was getting really nervous, to be honest, I'm still a little nervous, but Al reached out to me and said that apparently the guy's radiator in his truck broke, but he's getting a new truck. He says it's still gonna get delivered today, but I'm starting to get nervous that it's not coming. Fingers crossed we'll update. Hopefully the next clip is a truck pulling up. Let's, let's hope for that. Looky here. Truck's here, truck's here, truck's here. You guys, these movers so far have been amazing. They're so nice and so friendly. I feel bad for ever even saying that this process has been difficult. I know it's definitely not these guys' fault, just so you know, these guys are amazing. There's one. And the other one is pulling the truck around the back for the stuff that's going in the basement. I'm literally so grateful that they're here in like six degree weather with a blizzard coming, delivering our stuff for us. Babe, you see our couch? Our couch? It's been so long. Could have been us doing all this. You're right. I'm glad it ain't. Instead, we're chilling. Truck thing just goes down. So convenient. The walkthrough kitchen, living room. All right. Ready to rock and roll, Greg? Here we go. Maybe. <clears throat> Today? Focus? Yeah. Let's get this shit show on the road, eh? Um, okay. Here we go. I'm unpacking the house. I can flip the camera so that I can see it. Ah! <coughs> it's been a day. Let's get the work started, though. Quick story time, but get up at seven, feed the cats, put some pants on, cause it's brutally cold in here. I'm gonna remember this. Hold up, cut this out. Scramble up some eggs and shrooms and some spinach, make some omelette, do fromage. And we eat breakfast and I start guzzling some of this old stuff just to get the day started. <clears throat> Look outside and it's freaking filthy of snow. So, I didn't want Brooke to have to go out alone. So me being the trusty man, Prince Charming himself, I rev up the Bugatti and brush all the windows off. My dumb self, I, I run out there, brush off the Ram Ranch with no gloves on, major mistake, but I was ready to rock and roll. Cranked her up, she purred like a kitten, cranked her right over, like it always does. Any hooser. Brushed it off, got it running, hands are freezing by the time I get in. Had to crank her in four wheel drive a couple times cause she's a slick one today. Then I shoveled the whole freaking driveway, front yard, patio back here. That was horrible. And by the time I finished, it's already packed up again. So I was a little defeated. So I go and take a nappy with Benjamin. So I gotta all pack on all this. Ugh, gotta unpack all this junk. 
So I crammed one of these down, bring it right back to life. This is everything you need to get you going. Now I'm ready to rock and roll. Let's, ugh, ugh, it's just disgusting. I don't even wanna do this, but gotta do it. Let's see how it goes. Alrighty, first box is open. Why did I bug? DVDs and pillars. Supervisor said it's looking good. Oh, my dumbass just took a picture. Anyway, look at that absolute animosity carry. The mover taught me yesterday. Stink it from the back. Bingo. Straight to the basement. Okay, I've got a garbage bucket. And that's gonna be my recycling pile. I just need a box. I'm gonna put all the recycling in because save the planet. We only have one. Anywho. So yeah, this is, I'm gonna take all that and back in this box downstairs when I'm done. But yeah, all the shoes were on top. You know what? We should put the shoes on top of a million light bulbs. Like what? This is a little goofy. How did they survive? Packed beneath. 50 pounds of shoes slamming up and down. I know them roads are dang dumb bumpy. Well, none of them broke, but this is the test. Oh, wow. Some of them aren't connected. There's like a few different things, but I think they all work. And update to this, you get to the bottom. There's no glass. Okay. Got, what is going on? How does this happen? Why is it? What the heck? Why are we? What is happening? What are we doing here? Zoom out. Cut. Okay, there it is. Um, it's not flashing like it is on the screen, probably. It's not doing that in real life, but it's on and it works. <clears throat> but I'm having doubts. I think this is the living room TV. And we're in the basement. Wah, wah. Featuring empty box. Anyway. Let's see. Let's open up some more stuff. Whee! We got the bongo. And there it is. It's not like riding a bike. I completely forgot how to utilize this. It's gone. It's easy if you just go. A little out of tune, but. Anyway, here's a wonder wall. A bit gamer fuel. A bread sandwich. Gotta keep fighting. Thing, Benny. Ready to hit the sack? Look at all the stuff. Look at all the stuff. What'd you do? You stuck? <laughs> you need help? You can do it. Come on, jump. Marzi. Come on. 
Good boy. And all the Christmas presents are wrapped. I got up early this morning to just get it done before we have family coming for Christmas and I probably should have started it sooner, but I love when the Christmas tree has presents under it. Hi everybody, the last 24-ish hours have been a little stressful, I can't lie. We got all of our stuff, which is amazing. It's been good to like get settled. If you can't tell, we have a shower curtain now. We don't just have a liner. Which I don't even know if you guys knew we just had a liner. But showering with just a liner is a little weird. It was like starting to make my showers not very relaxing. And I am a shower girl through and through. I love my hot showers. But anyways, it's just been like, ever since we got our stuff, it's just been go, 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 unpack everything. We still do not have everything like unpacked, which is fine. It's gonna take a couple of weeks to really get settled, but we have the main three rooms, the living room, the bathroom, and the kitchen all done. And that does make me very happy. But Al's at work right now, and I am just gonna get ready, and I decided to get ready on camera, which it's been a while since I've done anything makeup or beauty or anything related. If you guys have been subscribed to me for a while, you'll remember I used to be like a beauty YouTuber. That's kind of, it's something I've always been passionate about. Like when I first got into YouTube, when I was like in middle school, I would just watch beauty gurus. But I have since stopped that. It's just not really a direction that I wanted to go in. I still love beauty. Like it's still a big passion of mine. But as far as YouTube goes, I didn't want to just be like doing beauty and fashion videos that doesn't mean i still can't like do my makeup on video every once in a while so i do apologize if that's not your thing you can skip over this but i did want to share some new products that i found with you guys because i recently decided to like go through my entire makeup collection and get rid of literally almost everything i've just been doing my makeup the same way since like i first got into makeup like in 2015 and 2016 I was real into makeup, so I like got a bunch of products. I would watch YouTube videos literally all day and all night. And I realized I've been doing my makeup the exact same way with the same products since then. I've never really switched it up at all. And it's been like seven, eight years we're going on. So I have been re-watching a ton of new videos and I feel like I have redone my technique a little bit and got new products that I'm actually really loving. So I'm excited to show them to you today. So I showered today and I already moisturized and I put some vitamin E oil on my face. I'll quickly show you those products. This is the moisturizer I use. It's just the CeraVe um, moisturizing cream. You can use it on your body too, but I love this moisturizer. I actually switched to like all CeraVe products lately. Probably in the summer is when I first made the switch, but these are my two cleansers that I use. Um, this removes makeup, and let me tell you, it removes makeup better than anything I've ever used in the past, including makeup wipes. It literally takes everything right off, even like a full, full face of makeup. And this makes my skin literally feel so soft. So that's just a quick little skincare, and then I just use vitamin E oil. You can literally get it like anywhere. I've used a couple different brands, but I love putting vitamin E oil on my face at night before I go to bed. As you guys know, I've struggled with cystic acne a lot in my life, and I'm still like I still have flare-ups to this day. They're not nearly as bad as they used to be, but I still do have like scabbing and scarring from my cystic acne. So the vitamin E oil just really helps. So I already did all that. So now I'm just gonna jump right into the makeup. So for my everyday makeup routine, I really do light makeup. Like I know it's a trend now, so it, I'm not alone when I say this, but the whole no makeup makeup look is definitely in. Um, so I definitely like, I have a foundation that I use when I want to do like a full face heavy makeup, but I actually now pretty much just use this. It's the It Cosmetic CC Cream. It's like their whole thing is your skin but better. And I have never found anything that has this good of coverage while not just feeling heavy on my face. I'm just gonna dot it on my face a little bit, not super heavy. And then I'm gonna take my beauty blender and also get some product on there before I go in and blend. So I got it in the lightest shade that they have. I do feel like their shades run a little dark because I definitely don't think that I am like as light as I used to be. I thought I would be like another shade um, darker, but it was just too dark for me. And this shade actually 
it's a little bit on the lighter side i would say but you can see already you guys look like it's covering my redness so well and it's making my skin just look so flawless but anyways what i was saying is when i do put a little bit of like blush and bronzer on i do think it helps to break up some of that lightness so that that's on i am gonna do a tiny bit of concealer i've been loving this elf camo concealer lately it's the hydrating one so now i'm gonna do some brows i recently tried this nyx this nyx thick it stick it eyebrow gel um or i should say thickening brow mascara i really really like this my only thing is that my eyebrows naturally are pretty light so i do have to just fill them in a little bit first for my liking so i just take my elf brush i think this is in deep brown i wanted to try their like ash brown too just because i do like that look but i just usually brush through my eyebrows and then i very very lightly fill them in i used to do a very very thick brow like that was my thing I shouldn't say thick, like a very filled in precise line brow, which I'm sure you guys can understand. Like that was just, that's what was trendy in 2015, 2016 was like a very penciled precise brow. I just filled them in enough to give me a base and then I go in with this Thick It Stick It. It has the best brush for eyebrows. I'm not gonna do this in the viewfinder because it's gonna be a disaster. Give me a nice full brow and I know you guys probably can't see on camera, but in person it looks more like brushed on rather than like a thick pencil precise line that's not really my thing anymore this is just the l'oreal voluminous what's it called carbon black i like this mascara but i do feel like it runs a little bit throughout the day like i'll find sorry guys my camera just ran out of memory card space but i am looking for a new mascara honestly i like this mascara but i do feel like throughout the day it runs a little bit like i'll find splotches of it underneath my eyes a lot um and that's just not the best look but it is pretty so i just did a little bit of mascara i like to give myself some definition on the eyes okay this product that i'm gonna use next you guys is probably my new favorite thing and something i never ever ever used before any variation of this it is the l'oreal lumi glotion this is something that i will just wear on its own sometimes like if i don't want to wear literally anything on my face not cc cream not uh, foundation nothing i will just put a little bit of this on my face and it is so pretty but i basically just kind of dot it on my nose and my cheeks and my forehead and literally it gives the prettiest glow and like illumination to your skin dewy skin is definitely like the in right now whereas matte used to be like the thing you wanted like the dark matte look but this glotion is so pretty i got it in the shade 902 light glow so there are definitely like darker ones. I know there's people that I've watched videos that they'll use it as like a blush. That's kind of what I do in this situation too because I'm not putting it as like my base. People will put it as their base and then put foundation over it. I just like it kind of as like a liquid like blush and highlight. It's just really, really, really pretty. And whenever I put it on my face without anything on it, it's just, it's like you're wearing no makeup, but you still have like glowy skin, if that makes sense. And I love how there's so many different ways to like apply it. People put it under foundation, people put it with no foundation, people put it on top of foundation. It just gives you a pretty sun-kissed like summery glow, even though it's the middle of winter. And I will just very lightly bronze and highlight and blush. I love these from wet and wild this is their bronzer it's in the shade palm beach ready mine is kind of dirty and then there's this like blush highlighter set and it's in the shade i met someone very very pretty on my skin tone i love it but i'm just gonna finish off then with some chapstick because my lips lately have been so chapped and also there's a not it's not really a hack but like i just feel like when i put lips or chapstick on and rub my lips together really good it just kind of makes them a little more plump it increases the blood flow it just i don't know i like it does anybody else do makeup and fix their hair just to put on the same 
comfy sweatshirt or sweater or whatever you were wearing before because that is literally story of my life but it's negative seven degrees out today so i don't care but here is what the makeup is looking like so i just wanted to give you guys a finished look i love it i think the glotion really just adds a nice glow to my face like you can tell that i got ready today but it's not like a full face of makeup but it could definitely work with a casual look i will try to link as many of the products as i can in the description again i know i don't really do makeup anymore makeup videos i should say so i don't know if this audience will enjoy this or not but let me know if you do enjoy some of the makeup videos again i still like to do makeup but it's not really where i want to take this channel but I thought I could just, you know, feature it a little bit. No harm. But seriously, I just feel so good with this. I feel like I'm glowing and I feel like this is very me and it's like a good mix between no makeup and also a little bit. But now you guys, I am actually gonna brave the winter weather and go to Hobby Lobby. And I just realized that it's literally December 23rd and Hobby Lobby is gonna be crazy but I'm too excited not to. I got a Hobby Lobby gift card for Christmas and I'm going to start a little home project. I'll show you now. So I will update you with what I choose. It's definitely a boot day today. This is what I used to dream of though, so gotta remember that. Welcome to Northeast Iowa, you guys. A lot different from North Carolina. I wanna climb up that hill and roll down it. You guys, they literally have so many. This is so overwhelming. Look at how pretty, oh my God. These flower ones are so pretty. Who do I call when I need advice on things? She likes this one. You like that one, Mom? You think that one's the best? Hang on a second, I'm trying to figure out my phone here. Um, yes, I do. All right, I'm trusting Mom's advice. Going with this one. I'm a little sad. It doesn't fit the holes. <laughs> When I was FaceTiming my mom, she was like, oh, you measured it, right? And I was like, no. I guess in my mind, I thought they were all like universal. That would make sense, right? She's like, no, you definitely should have measured them because they're all different. So I don't know if this is gonna work. It actually could work though. I have to ask Al because the holes would be drilled far enough apart that it wouldn't like affect these holes and then this would just cover it. So it could work. I really like this one, so I hope it does work. But these are gonna look so pretty with the new poles on it. So a small house update, it's looking a lot better. We got the kitchen cleared out. All the boxes that were here are now put away. Feels so good to have our stuff again. This is like unbelievable. I made breakfast this morning and didn't have to struggle with using plastic utensils. So I've got my stuff. I'm kind of going with this like controlled chaos look. I've been looking on Pinterest a lot and I just love like a busy kitchen that like is messy but not messy, you know what I mean? Like this is all functional stuff. But the living room is still kind of a work in progress. We've got a lot of boxes undone. I'm trying not to show too much because I am gonna give you guys a real, real house tour someday. But I think I'm gonna end the vlog here, actually. I wish Al was here to end it with me, but he is at work for a couple more hours. His parents are actually coming into town tonight. I'm so excited for them to see the house. And they're gonna spend Christmas Eve and Christmas with us, which makes me very happy because we are not able to go home this year. It's just not lining up with Al's work schedule. And we have never, like, not been with family for Christmas. Well, I haven't, at least. Al's been deployed, so there's that but i'm just not gonna leave him alone on christmas because he is my family now so i'm very grateful that his family decided to come visit us they were like well why don't we just come to you and that made me happy but we thank you thank you we are gonna end the vlog and we'll see you very shortly in the next one bye you guys merry christmas merry christmas everybody thank you for being here we love you